<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome to Again Craft. In this video, we are going to talk about laces. No, this is not an OnlyFans content ended up on YouTube. This is going to be about lacing in your ocean wave art. When you are doing the white froth on the ocean wave board, how to get the perfect lacing when you when you do when you when you watch these instagram reels and the youtube shorts and the famous uh, youtubers they do it so effortlessly and it looks so good and when you try it you get a milky blue substance on top of your art piece and it's annoying as heck so for the last eight months i've been trying to get the perfect lacing i try different kind of resins i try to add additives I try to different temperatures, different uh, times when half cured, not cured, raw, different mixtures, different kind of pigments like alcohol dyes, liquid pigments, uh, powdered pigments. But somehow, somehow, I got close to get like good lacing on it, but never actually got to a perfect lacing. So. I'm no, it's a long bit of intro, I'm sorry, but you need to know the story behind it. Mm. So for the last four or five days, over the weekend and over the last two days, I've been, I've been testing different methodologies and I try to eliminate the variable which causes that laces doesn't appear. So I think this is, this is, this is it. I'm not sure this is gonna happen today, but I'm trying my very best to get the perfect lacing. Are you smoking? No, but you're warming up, good. Uh, so, long story short, for the last four days, I tried uh, normal resin, I tried to do different timings, I wait for it to cure, not cure, this and that. I had to scrape off so many resin. I tried small heat gun, big heat gun, small nozzle, big nozzle, Nothing worked, but I think I found a video from a girl. Uh, I will try to write her name somewhere on the on the on the screen. Uh, her 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 explanation was pretty good. She explained that how how long you need to wait for the resin to cure for it to be workable and create the the froth. And she doesn't do any additives, apparently. So I trust in her. I trust in her video. She had very nice music under the video, and she had a very nice calming music, and she didn't put out her tits. And it wasn't about her. It wasn't about the product she was trying to sell. But she plucked her own resin. Anyway, uh, all I'm saying is I bought jewel casting resin just for this occasion. And uh, this resin has a 60-minute uh, pot life. And I poured it 17 minutes ago. And I'm constantly mixing it. And at the 30-minute mark, when it becomes like, uh, like a, a jello substance, not jello, but uh, thick, thick like, uh, like, body lotion, not body lotion, but some kind of creamy substance. I will start pouring it onto the tray and we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try to get the lazy. <coughs> um, it's been a long journey. Uh, I recorded like four videos of my previous attempts and all of them ended up in a mess. Uh, and I didn't use gloves, so I'm not gonna publish those videos because they're just a clusterfuck of, of failures and you're never gonna get anything out of that video because there's just no result. Just me getting more and more annoyed, more and more angry and start swearing like uh, you caddy. So you gotta let those go and uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it an honest try, and uh, I'm trying to replicate. I got my heat gun now, so what I what I found that the baby heat gun I have, you know, the small one, uh, that doesn't work. It it just doesn't put out enough air pressure and heat to create the lacing. This, on the other hand, is a uh, is a 2000 watt 
watts, uh, 560C. So it's your, your Boga standard heat gun. I don't have the nozzle for it because it didn't come with it and I don't want to buy uh, extra nozzles for it because I don't know what, they don't say what size it is. So I just didn't buy any nozzle for it. Um, I really hope this one's gonna work. And I got my trusty blowtorch as well. Um, we are waiting for the resin to nicely warm up and get ready. Oh, it is hot. It is hot. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour out the blue, the clear, and uh, the white now um let's just let's just get you over here and let me show you how it goes okay this should give you a very good very good angle on, on things so i'm just gonna divide it into three This is the blue. This is the clear. And this is the white. All right. So, let's do it. I don't know why I did it. I should have left one in this cup. Anyway, so blue, we're going to use steel. Because I just love this color. We're going to mix in the alcohol dye. Spread it all over. It's getting hot to the touch. And I think I have 10 minutes to go before it goes critical. But it's, it's way too liquid for now. Clear is going to stay clear, and I'm going to use my liquid dye. I never know how much to put in, so I'm just going to put some. This is a uh, liquid dye pigment. It is kind of uh, pigment paste. Uh, it's pigment dissolved in denatured alcohol. And I am not gonna fill it up this time. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so I have those three. I need to wipe my hands from the paint and put some gloves on this time. Because I want this to be an educational material. If I succeed. All right, <clears throat> so see the experiment. Uh, can you see the, the cups? No, you can't. Let me just move the cups a little bit closer so that you can actually see them. Okay, so they're curing, okay. Still, still too liquidy. Yeah. 
any longer 10 minutes. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna pour out the blue because it is extremely hot to the touch in the cup and I don't want it to flash cure. Okay, so there goes nothing, I guess. Use a little alcohol spray to pop the bubbles. I'm not gonna use a heat gun just yet because I built a sellotape dam for some reason, though. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that to actually grab a hold on stuff. Are you flat? Kind of. Should do it. Okay, this is getting hot too. Okay, the clear is, is also extremely hot to the touch. Should I pour it now or should I wait? The girl poured it already. No, the girl only had one color. Shit. Mm. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the clear to thicken up a little bit more. The white is... It's kind of thickening up a little more than I thought it would. Which is good, kind of. Uh, I need to put a spatula in this to see how thick we are getting. It is kind of thickening, so that's good. We are about at the 10 minute, 20 minute, 10, 20, 20. We are at the 25 minute mark out of the 60 minute working time pot life. And it is extremely hot to the touch. So. Um, <coughs> the, 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 the general curing time of this is, how should I put you? Um, the general curing time of this resin is, uh, the complete curing is 16 to 24 hours. So it is not tabletop epoxy and the girl used tabletop epoxy, but I don't have access to tabletop epoxy. I'm just going to... Okay, that's done. The damage is done. I'm gonna lift up this corner. I know I need the leveling table, girls. Come on, give me a break. That's too much. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're good, we're good. Thank you. 
Okay, it doesn't mix too much. Okay, curling up. Mm. I need a hero. Okay, it you see I I scrape the spoon onto the side and it runs down very slowly and it's keeping its shape. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. And it has to be Not on the wide. But next to the white. Okay, and now it's time for the heat gun. I need to plug in the heat gun. <laughs> okay. Heat gun plug. Heat gun online. Okay, I have enough. Cable slack. I wait for it to heat up a little. And she said I should do it on a high angle or low angle, like th like this. Okay. Okay. And then she hit it with a I think I put too much white on it. I need to scrape some of it up.
on the wipe of the excess. Okay. Some cells are forming now. She said not to overdo it because you can you can if you if you push it too much then boy I'm sorry. Okay. I have an idea. It might be a stupid idea. But an idea nonetheless. Oh, you have to go close with the blowtorch. Okay. Hey, hey. Ella.
You don't want to cook it. I think I figured it out. Guys, 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 guys. Where's one? Where's one? I need to clean this up a little bit. Okay, fuck it. It's just a bit smoky. Don't worry about it. It's gonna burn. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Oh my god, we did it. I did the perfect lacing. I did it. I managed to fucking do it. I can't believe it. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. Oh my god. It's done. We did it. We cracked it. It works. So pour it, pour it, pour it. Don't over pour it. And then hit it with a blowtorch. And you wait for it to almost cure. And there you have it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what did we learn in this experiment? Simple. You use your cut jewel casting resin or some tables of resin you wait for it to almost go off you you go halfway okay you go halfway with the going off so that you have this kind of thickness this consistency okay and then you pour out the blue the clear the white and then you push it over, push the white over the clear and the blue with a heat gun. Okay, and if you don't have an extremely hot heat gun like I do, you hit it with a blowtorch. Just touch it with a blowtorch and the cells immediately will form. Make sure you don't leave it there too long because you're going to burn it like I did here in the corner. If you burn it, just put some more different color over it. That might help. <laughs> Anyhow. And then you're going to get the cells. I think we got it, guys. Without any additives, you don't need any special sprays. You don't need special resin. You don't need the special pigment. Wait for it to almost cure. Then when you pour... Okay, so... So, um, you wait halfway for it to cure. Then you pour it out next to each other, right? And because it's almost cured, you only heat up the white. While you heat, when you heat up the white, it becomes more liquidy. But the clear and the blue next to it doesn't become very liquidy. So it becomes the white becomes liquidy and it goes over the clear, over the blue, doesn't mix in. That's why it doesn't get too cloudy. Because you just only heat up the white and the white becomes more liquidy. That flows over the clear. And that's what you want to achieve with a heat gun. Now, if you push the heat gun too long when, when it's over the clear, clear, it will warm up the clear and the blue as well, right? And it will mix in. That's why I got cloudy results before. Because I didn't use the blowtorch. Because blowtorch 
flesh heats up the top, but it, you don't keep it there long enough so that you heat up underneath, right? So the heat gun gently warms up everything on that layer, plus pushes the air down. The blowtorch just whoosh, heats this up and whoop, separates it. Okay, that's the logic behind it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, if you want, I can make another separate video on how actually it works. But this was the experiment. I'm so happy it worked. Uh, I'm so happy I can share this with you. I'm, uh, I'm speechless. It's been, it's been so long I tried this. It's been so long I experimented and it's, it's finally, it's finally working today. I mean, guys, this has been my bane of my existence, right? Mm. It's been my nemesis. And now I got it. I got it down to the T. I got lacing. I'm so happy about this. I could cry. I could literally. You know how much, how much anguish I had in myself. I self-hatred. Oh boy. Uh, I can't even put it in words. I'm so happy it worked. And I'm so happy I can share this with you. Oh, it's just, it's just a relief that I, now I understand the logic behind it, you know? I understand how the method actually works, the physics behind it. And it's just so obvious. And if someone would have told me the physics behind it, I would have understood it immediately. Thank you, you girl on YouTube. That's your name here. Your explanation was really good. And it put, half, it put me halfway there. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I really hope I was able to give you guys some, some value with this video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can support it on buymeacoffee.com or you can buy some of my art pieces on my web shop. I have a bunch of things and shipping is barely anything globally because I can send most of my stuff as track letters and they are very cheap. Um, and I could really use your help right now. Uh, but anyway, oh, fuck, I'm so happy. I. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you for for watching this video. I really hope you got something out of this video. Oh boy, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I'm going to make a bunch more of these soon. And uh, yeah, we're going to practice, practice, practice. Okay, uh, yeah, bye.